tomorrow, and uh, I think my time is uh, short right now. But if ever na hindi ito matapos, itutuloy ko bukas. Amen? Ayaw ko lang madaliin. Okay? So, for those Americans that are here, I am not good in English. Okay? So, please, uh, uh, Brother John, please translate it. Okay? So, to your father. So, this morning, mga kapatid, na-discuss po ng atin pong uh, Pastor Abe at uh, medyo may mga, may mga bagay na parang nababaligtad di Pastor Abe. Okay? Pero, Iyan po ang resulta pag video po yat. Okay? So, tomorrow, we will discuss mga kapatid, I believe na nagbigay po ng foundation yon, Nagkaroon ng curiosity sa iba. Yung hindi po naka, nakarinig pa tungkol dun sa another gospel, which is not another. Okay? But tomorrow mga kapatid, and then buong araw bukas, I hope na nandito kayo sapagkat yan po ang ating tatalakayin. Amen? So, this morning, ay sususugan po natin kung ano po yung narinig natin about the gospel, the gospel of our salvation. Amen? The Bible says, In whom ye also trusted. Amen? After that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Hindi sinabi ng Bible, and after that ye have baptism, Hindi sinabi ng Bible na after that ye prayed the sinner's prayer, the Bible says, after that ye believe, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, help us, Panginoon, sa umaga pong ito, at maging po sa aming mga kapatiran, at mga sumusubaybay, mga Panginoon, sa, sa online. We're praying, Panginoon, na, na maging blessing po ang, ang pangangaral ng salita po ninyo this, this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Now, what is the gospel? Moreover, brethren, kasi binanggit kanina yung gospel, ano? Balik lang natin ng kaunti. Okay? The gospel of our salvation. And then kahapon, kagabi, praise the Lord, at uh, this morning, ay binanggit mo kapatid yung tungkol dun sa gospel na ito. At mayroon po nagsabi sa akin na walang pagkakaiba yung gospel ng 12 disciples during Christ's earthly ministry and then yung gospel after the cross. Parehas lang daw yun. Okay? Ngayon, kung nakikinig po siya ngayon, i-discuss ko po ito na mayroong pagkakaiba. Hindi po talaga pareho. Bakit? Sapagkat, tignan niyo po mga kamadid. Later on, makikita po natin, sabi sa 1 Corinthians 15, to 4 Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, which I preach unto you, which also ye have received. Yung receiving dito ay, kasi nasani na tayo dun sa, receive the Lord Jesus Christ. The person. But the one which we should receive here is not the person. Pero may pakikita ko sa inyo mamaya, na person, yung person at yung ginawa ng person na hindi pwedeng paghiwalain sa ikaliligtas ng ating kaluluwa. But we should be, uh, dapat maunawaan po natin yung receive na word dito ay nakinalaman dun sa gospel. Amen? And wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preach unto you. Malinaw po na diniscuss yan ni Pastor Dwight kagabi. Amen? So, walang gawa dito. Yung, yung if dyan, hindi kondisyon para tayo ay maligtas. But lagi kong sinasabi, that if there is a proof, amen, it is a proof that you are saved. Okay? Kapag tinanong ka, bakit ka ligtas? Pag bumabalik lagi ang alaala mo nung time na nakaluhod ka, hindi ko sinasabi na mali ang lumuhod, nung time na nagpray ka, at walang mabanggit sa bibig mo tungkol sa ginawa niya, questionable ang kaligtasan mo. Because sabi ng Bible, by which also you are saved, if you keep in memory what I preach unto you, unless you have believed in vain. Bakit? Kasi lahat naman naniniwala eh. Ano man ang relihiyon, may pinaniniwalaan. Pero pag iba ang pananaw at iba ang understanding sa gospel, naniwala sila, but walang kabuluhan yun. Hindi ibig sabihin, ikaw ay mananampalataya, ay ligtas ka na. Dapat malaman, kung ano ang iyong pinananampalatayanan. Amen. The Bible says, mga madad, verse 3, For I deliver unto you first of all that which I also receive. 
how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. So binigyan natin ng emphasis mga kamadid, yung ginawa ng Panginoon, yung death, the burial, and the resurrection. At kanina po, ipinakita po ng ating preacher ang tungkol sa the kingdom, uh, the kingdom gospel and the grace gospel mga kapatid, at ngayon, nais ko pong, bago ko pumunta ako doon sa ating pinaka-topic, mga kapatid, nais kong i-reviewin natin. So, ito yung cross. Alam natin, may rapture. I hope kasama tayo. <laughs> Amen. And then, meron pong uh, second coming. And then, meron pong tinatawag na kingdom. Okay? Ito po yung kingdom, mga kapatid. Kingdom on earth. Ito yung prayer. Naalala niyo yung prayer ng 12 disciples? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And that kingdom is the millennial kingdom, not the Baptist kingdom. Amen. Okay? Kapag di natin ito naunawaan, mga kapatid, yung gospel of the kingdom will be our gospel today. And our church is like a kingdom. And there will be a king there. And the king there is the pastor. That's why kapag nag-uto siya, hu, 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 hu. Alam mo, hari. Okay? Kingdom gospel, ang message po, is kingdom of heaven at hand. Believe, repent, be baptized. For the Jews, ang hope nila ay millennial kingdom. Amen. So from Abraham, sa Old Testament mga kapatid, hanggang dito po sa cross, yung kingdom na yan ay ipinapangaral, ngunit after the death and the burial and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, diminishing kami. Okay? So ang pangangaral po tungkol sa kingdom ay bumagsak after po mga kapatid ng kamatayan ng ating o pagkabuhay muli ng ating Panginoon si Kristo. At ito po ang pinakatema na ang pinag-uusapan sa during earthly ministry. Now, according to Matthew 4, verse 17, from that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So, si Jesus Christ mismo ang nangaral ng kingdom of heaven. And the Bible says in Matthew 6, 10, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yung po yung tinukoy ko doon. Okay. And then, makikita po natin, hindi talaga pareho. Hindi talaga pareho ang pananampalataya sa ikaliligtas ng mga disipulo during Christ's earth ministry kung ikukumpara sa atin. Look at this. Itong si Peter, sabi po niya, from, uh, si Jesus Christ, from that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples how Christ should suffer many things and be killed and be raised again and the third day, hindi ba ito yung gospel of the grace of God? The death, burial, and resurrection. Ito yung sinasabi ni Jesus Christ, right? The death, burial, and resurrection. But look at this. Then Peter took him and began to what? To rebuke him, saying, Be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. So, ibig sabihin, hindi pareho sa paniniwala natin ngayon. Now, paano ba tayo masisip ngayon? Ayon sa binasa natin kanina. Heard the gospel, right? And we received the gospel. And ano pa? We stand, tinayuan natin yung gospel, at sabi ng Bible, we're in ye saved. Pero, tanong, si Peter ba saved at this time? Kasi hindi naman niya alam yung gospel of the grace of God. Tanong, kailan, ang tanong ko sa inyo, kailan na save ang 12 disciples? Kung ang basis ay yung death, burial, and resurrection, yung understanding doon, at paninindigan doon, Kung same yung gospel ng 12 disciples, tanong, kailan talaga tinanggap ng 12 disciples yung death, burial, and resurrection? Kasi kung, kung yun, ang re, yun ang paraan, di doon lang talaga sila na save. Tama? Pero during Christ's earthly ministry, tingnan nyo to. Sa Acts period, mga kapatid, yung Great Commission na binabanggit po nila, Ang sabi yan, go you therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them. Okay, kinat ko po doon, teaching them to what? Observe all things whatsoever have I commanded you. So alam po natin na wala pa si Paul. Wala pa yung Pauline epistle. 
So ano yung sinasabi ni Jesus Christ dito na sundin nila ang lahat ng turo? Ibig sabihin yung turo dito sa kingdom. Right? That's why hindi natin pwedeng isipin o akalain mga kabatid na itong all, teaching them all, mga kabatid, ay kasama na yung silhouette ni Paul. Sabagat wala pa. Wala pa. So ang tinutukoy talaga dito ay yung aral ni Kristo during Christ's earthly ministry. Kaya kasama yung sign, wonders, and miracles. Right? So hindi kasama po yung gospel of the death, burial, and resurrection dito sapagkat hindi pa po na ipaliwanag mabuti ni Apostle Paul. But the grace, gospel, ang message po is what? The death, the burial, and resurrection, <laughs> and what? It is sufficient. It is enough. It is grace. It is by faith alone and belief. Amen. Clear. And it is for the Jews and Gentiles. Dito kanina, for the Jews only. Dito po, ang hope natin, mga kapatid, is rapture, heaven. Then, we believe after the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bagamat hindi pa malinaw ang teaching about this grace, what we believe, the body of Christ is there. Amen. So, merong transition sa book of Acts from Acts 1 hanggang 28. Ito pong diminishing na yan from Acts 1 to 28. Dito po mga kapatid, to the Jew first and also to the Greek, ang kanila pong pagbibigay ng gospel. This is Christ's heavenly ministry. And ang sabi ng Bible mga kapatid, But none of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy in the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus. What? to testify the gospel of the grace of God. Kung papansinin niyo, parang inangkin ni Pablo, parang wala siyang kasama dito. Look at this. None of this thing move me. Tingnan niyo mga pronoun na ginamit. I, my, myself, I, my curse, joy, my, ano ba? I, the ministry I have received of the Lord. Papansin niyo ba yan? Kaya binanggit ni Paul, my gospel. Kasi unique yung gospel na to. So hindi natin pwedeng sabihin, parehas lang yan. Kaya nga, ang hamon ko pa kapatid is, kung ang mana ng palataya, o kung ang kaligtasan mga kapatid, ay nakadepende sa pagkaunawa sa death, burial, and resurrection, kailan talaga naunawaan ng 12 disciples? Ay during this time, hindi pa eh. Kaya hindi pwedeng pareho. O, oh, next. 1 Corinthians 51 to 4, 1 16, Ephesians 1 13, nabasa po natin. So after the rapture, mga kamadid, meron diyang peace. And then, sa three and a half, great tribulation, and then makikita natin, mga kamadid, yung fullness. Nabanggit ni Pastor Abi kanina, yung stum uh, stumbling, yung stumble, the word, okay? And then the fall, the diminishing, anong sunod? The fullness of the Jews. Amen. And then, during Millennial Kingdom, mga kapatid, ang kaganapan, yung gospel of the kingdom, na binabanggit po sa Matthew chapter 24, verse 13, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom. Ba, parehas dito, no? Napansin nyo? Gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for the witness unto all nations, and then shall the end, what? Come. And then, ito yung gospel of the kingdom. Babalik po yan dito, mga kamadid. After po ng gospel of the grace of God, ay maipangaral. Next. Makikita po natin sa millennial, millennial kingdom. And then, ito na po yung kaganapan o yung fulfillment ng prophecy ni Daniel. Daniel chapter 2, verse 44, the Bible says, And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven, kaya nga, kingdom of heaven, the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. So, ibig sabihin, hindi pinag-uusapan ng Baptist Church dito during Christ's earthly ministry. Hindi pinag-uusapan ang Pentecostal Church or any religion here. Ang pinag-uusapan dito ay ang programa ng Diyos sa mga Hudyo na magaganap doon sa Millennial Kingdom. Kaya pag di natin ito nakita, mga kamadid, halo-halo po ang mga katuruan na ating makikita. Next, the repeat after me prayer is one of the modern day 
Kasi sabi kanina eh, the, uh, another gospel. At tinuro po yung circumcision, pasarabe, noon yon Eh wala naman nagsisinner's prayer noon sa panahon ni Paul. May nakita ba kayo? Wala. Wala ho kayo makikita mga kapatid. Kaya po, the repeat after me prayer is one of the modern day another gospel. Kasi listen, kapag diniscuss natin yung another gospel which is not another at may kinalaman sa law, which is tama naman, ang kinakausap natin doon ay yung mga hudyo at at the same time, kung sa panahon ngayon, ay yung mga naniniwala sa batas. Tama? Don't you believe that Jesus Christ is a Seventh-day Adventist during Christ's earthly ministry? Yes. Sabadista si Kristo. Hmm. Now, ang ating issue ngayon, mga kapatid, kung may nanunood man dyan sa atin o may nakikinig man dito sa atin ngayon, I do believe ang mga nakikinig sa akin ay mga Baptist. Wala masyado siguro nakikinig na sa Badista ngayon. Sana mapagawi, mapagawi sila doon sa ating page. Please like. Amen. Okay. But I'm talking to the professing Christian na nagsasabing ligtas siya. Okay? The Bible says, look at this, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are what? Lost. Maliwan. Maliwanag po ba? Kung ang ating ibanghelyo, ano bang ibanghelyo natin na tinuturo? The death, the burial, and the resurrection. And the Bible says, Apostle Paul said, if our gospel be hid, kanino ito na itago? It is hid to them that are lost. Is this verse applicable during Christ's earthly ministry? Tanong lang. Kasi sinabi ni Jesus Christ and ni Paul yan during his ministry. So unang-una, hindi yan applicable during Christ's earthly ministry. Why? Hindi pa nasulat eh. <laughs> Amen. Pangalawa, yung gospel na tinutukoy ni Paul dito ay yung death, burial, and resurrection sa 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Sabi po, sa panahon na ito ay naka, ito pong verse na ito ay para sa panahong ito. Amen. And this very time period, mga kabadid, kung ang gospel na tinuturo natin ay maitago o hindi malaman ng sino man, kahit na siya'y napaka-faithful, kahit na siya po ay attender sa church, kahit na po siya nagbibigay ng kanyang tithes, kahit po siya nagbibigay ng kanyang first fruit and pledges, if he is very zealous, but not according to knowledge of the gospel of the grace of God, he is lost. Amen. The Bible says, In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds. You see? Napaka-importante ng pagkaunawa. Napaka-importante ng pag-iisip. Hindi tayo naliligtas sa gawa. Amen. Naliligtas tayo sa pangka, pagkaunawa at pananampalataya doon sa gospel. Now, if your mind is blinded, okay, the Bible says, In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. You see? Mahalagang mahalaga yan. Believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel who is the image of God should shine unto them. Look at this. Ang tanong ko kanina, ang 12 disciples ba nag-preach ng gospel during Christ's earthly ministry? If I'm not mistaken, may mga kasama po tayo dito na Pentecostal. This is not to offend you. Okay? We, we love you. And please consider the Word of God. My question is, the disciples during Christ's earthly ministry, did they preach the gospel? Alinao. And they departed and went through the towns preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. That, that, that's my question. Is this gospel is the same as the gospel of the grace of God? The death, burial, and resurrection? Nagpipreach sila ng gospel, oh. Nasa Acts 9 po yan. Nasa Acts 9. Pagdating sa Acts chapter 18, look at this. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Luke chapter 9, verse 6. Sorry. Nahawa na ako. Hindi. Pasa, hindi ko pala nasabi, puyat din pala ako. 
Salamat na lang kayo nandiyan. Amen. Amen. Okay. Luke chapter 18, verse 31 to 34. Then he took unto him, sino? The twelve. Jury, before they crossed to, ha? Huh? And said unto them, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and all things that are written by the prophets concerning the Son of Man shall be accomplished, verse 32, for he shall be delivered unto the Gentiles, and shall be mocked, and despitefully entreated, and speeded on, verse 33, and they shall, what? Scourge him, and put him to death, and the third day he shall rise again. Amen. Parang ito yung death, burial, and resurrection. Parang ito yung gospel today. Right? So yung gospel na tinuturo nila, yun, ang laman ba ng gospel na yan ay death, burial, and resurrection? Kasi pagdating dito ng sinabi ni Jesus Christ, pagdating sa verse 34, and they understood none of these things. And this saying was, wow, save, save ba sila? This is, that's, di ba nabasa natin kanina? If our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. To be consistent with those who tell him that it is the same gospel, this is my question. Save ba yung mga disciples? Pag sinabi ninyo na iisang gospel simula sa panahon ni Adam hanggang sa panahon ngayon, hindi saved ang 12 disciples because the gospel was hid to them. Right? The question is, kailan talaga naintindihan ng 12 disciples yung death, burial, and resurrection? Tagal pa nga, pinagalitan pa nga sila. Nag-resurrect na nga si Jesus Christ. Ayaw pang maniwala eh. Sa Mark chapter 16, Christ abraded them. Sa Tagalog, pinagalitan sila because of their unbelief. So, kung yun po ang basis, hindi sila saved. Right? Pero hindi naman ganon. Lahat ng tao na si saved, the people are saved in their dispensation according to the revealed truth of God to them. Because that revealed truth to them are the gospel or is the gospel unto them. So I believe, Save ang 12 disciples. During Christ's earth ministry, the disciples were saved. But, aminin natin, hindi nila alam ang gospel of the grace of God. Hindi nila alam. Pagdating sa Acts 2, Pastor, pagdating sa Acts 3, sabi nga ni Pastor Dwight, eh, hindi naman good news yung death, burial, and resurrection sa kanila. Eh. It's a blame to them. Sinisisi, pinako nyo ang inyong misaya, right? Pinako nila, hindi naman good news yun. Ano sabi ni Paul sa ating preaching? Sa, sa gospel ngayon, sa death, burial, and resurrection? The gospel which is also called the preaching of the cross. This is our good news. Preaching of the cross. Masasabi ba ni Peter na ang kanyang preaching during Acts 2, Acts 3, and Acts 4? Ay preaching of the cross? No, sir. Si Paul lang ang nagsabi nun. Amen! So, mahalagang ito, ma ma makita natin mga kapatid, and because of that, kung hindi maunawaan yung part na yon, pagdating at pagpasok ng modern day another gospel, hindi na nila ma-recognize. Right? Ganyan katuso, ganyan ka-clever, ganyan ka kadisperado si satanas para lituhin ng tao. Sapagkat, maraming mga naglilingkod ngayon, ang basis ng paglilingkod ay yung katapatan nila. Eh ba, eh, sa, lagi kong sinasabi, kung katapatan din, kung faithfulness din, Brother John, ang kaligtasan, talo tayo ng saksi ni Hoba. Right? Oh. The Jehovah's Witnesses there in Mindoro, Around 6 o'clock in the morning, are already there. Giving trucks. And they have a station there 
with their literatures. While the Baptist is still snoring. <laughs> yes! Kung katapatan lang ang pag-uusapan, mas ligtas ang ibang relihiyon kaysa atin. But praise God, hindi po katapatan natin ang pinag-uusapan para maligtas, kundi katapatan ni Kristo. The faithfulness of Christ. The faith of Christ. Amen? Now, the modern day. The Bible says, binalikan lang po natin yung, ating, yung gospel na binasa natin ngayon. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preach unto you, which you also have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved. If ye keep in memory what I preach unto you. Tanong, anong bumabalik sa alaala mo pag sinabi sa yung bakit ka saved? Ang bumabalik ba sa alaala mo ay kasi nagpray ako ng sinner's prayer. Hindi ko sina mga matid, hindi ako against sa prayer. Hindi tayo against sa prayer. Prayer is the token. The prayer is the result of faith. And faith, ang faith ang nagsisave sa atin, hindi yung prayer. Because yung prayer, bago ka mag-pray, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Ibig sabihin, nangyayari ang lahat ng trabaho sa loob ng makina ng sasakyan. Tama? Tapos maririnig mo lamang na buhay na ang iyong sasakyan kapag tumutunog na ang tambutyo. Ibig sabihin, ang tunay mga kapatid na kaligtasan ay sa puso, hindi sa muso. Amen! And our evangelists will discuss that sa mga susunod po nating pagtalakay. How about Romans 10? <laughs> Yung nagada na sa isip niyo. How about Romans 10, 9 and 10? Up to 13. Abangan po nawa ninyo. Ano po? Now, kailangan-kailangan maintindihan yung gospel. Anong sabi ni Paul? And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of his speech of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God, for I determined not to know, look at this, for I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Pag nagtetestify tayo, akala mo, paano ka, para, paano ka masave? Our testimony, the testimony of our mentors, the testimony of our pastors. But Apostle Paul is declaring the testimony of Christ. The testimony of God. Amen. Which is Christ and Him crucified. Verse 3, And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. Verse 4, And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power. Look at this. Bakit kaya ganyan ang attitude ng isang preacher dapat? Bakit ganyan dapat ang attitude ng ni Apostle Paul? Why? Because ayaw niyang, ano, verse 5, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Amen. And what is that power of God? For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Amen. So kinakailangan po ang isang taong nasa church at faithful sa church, ang basis niya na siya'y ligtas ay yung gospel of the grace of God. Kapag hindi at sinabi niyang, kasi anak ako ng pastor, Brother John, I have a little fear in my heart because I have 15 year old son. And from Davis until now, Lagi niyang naririnig yung Bible. Right? So, like Brother John. But, sabi ko sa kanya, hindi ibig sabihin anak ka ng pastor, ligtas ka. I always tell it to them. I always give them the gospel. Amen. 
So mga kapatid, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. What is the sinner's prayer? Okay. This definition was from the one who hold or practice the sinner's prayer. Eh, sabi sa akin nung no, nagko-comment sa Facebook, sino mo may sabi sa'yo nakapagliligtas ang prayer? Sabi ko sa kanya, sabi nung nagpa-practice nun. Oh, a salvation prayer known by many Christians as sinner's prayer is a prayer one would say to repent from sins, ask God for forgiveness, confess belief in Jesus Christ, and accept Him as Lord and Savior, saying a salvation prayer is the first step in your relationship to God. Pag-uunawain nyo yan, the sinner's prayer has a big role in your Christianity. It seems, pag hindi ka nag-pray, hindi ka nag-repent. It seems, pag hindi ka nag-pray, hindi ka saved. Yun ang sabi. Often, at the end of worship service, in what is known as an altar call, a minister of other worship or other worship leader will invite those desiring to receive Christ, thus becoming born again, to repeat with him or her the word of some form of a prayer. It is also frequently found in printed gospel trucks, arguing people to repeat these words from the bottom of your heart. The sinner's prayer takes various forms, all of which have the same general thrust. Since it is considered a matter of one's personal will, it can be prayed silently, aloud, read from a suggested model, or repeated after someone modeling their prayer role. There is no formula of a specific words considered essential, although it usually contains an admission of sin, and a petition asking that Jesus enter into the person's heart, that is to say, the center of their life. The use of the sinner's prayer is common within some Protestant and Protestant denominations, such as what? Ang pinagtataka ko, bakit nauna pa yung Baptist? Pwede naman yung Methodist. Pwede naman yung Wesleyan. Pwede naman yung Pentecostal. Bakit Baptist pa? Okay? And Methodist churches as well as in movements that span several denominations, including Evangelical, Fundamental, and Charismatic Christianity, it has also been used. Though not as widely by some Anglicans, Lutherans, and what? Even the Roman Catholics. Oh, I'll prove to you. Okay? Samples of sinner's prayer. Wow. Oh, Mary Immaculate, Virgin so fair, Mother of our Savior, please hear my prayer. Kaninong prayer yan? Catholic? Alam nyo na. Ang dami nakikinig na Catholic. Okay. Roman Catholic memorized prayer. How about this? Are you familiar with that? <laughs> Sa mga tawa kayo, siguro namimigay kayo, no? Kailang kayo huling nagbigay niyan? Ano sabi niyan? Okay? Admit that you are a sinner. Believe the Lord Jesus. Parang sabi ni Paul, I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Parang walang ganito sa panahon na yun. And confess the Lord Jesus. Then, salvation prayer. Pag hindi natapos itong huli na to, walang salvation. Walang salvation at all. Dapat tapusin mo yan. Salvation prayer. You see? Mga kapatid, born again, Pentecostal, etc., salvation prayer, ang tawag po dyan. The history of the sinner's prayer, kahit nabasahin po natin ang buong book of Acts, 
wala tayo makikita na nagparipit sa prayer. Amen. So nagumpisa po yan, mga kapatid, kay J.V. Combs, self-hypnotism, kay Charles Finney, The Ansu Sip, noong 1835, si Dwight Moody, Inquiry Room, mga sikat po ito, no? R.A. Torre, On the Spot. Okay? Say, Billy Sunday saw the trail or altar call. Niya nag-start yan. Kay Billy Graham, pumunta pa siya sa Pilipinas. No 1947, ang tawag dyan ay accept Jesus into your heart. Right? Are you familiar with the four laws of spiritual, spirituality? Yan po yan. And then, lastly, si Bill Bright. No 1970, and since then, ang tawag dyan ay sinner's prayer. But nowhere in the Bible, you can see na merong nagpasunod sa prayer. The danger of twisted gospel. We are talking about the modern day, another gospel. And it is very dangerous. So lamang po, ito po ay personal, ito po ay message sa akin. It was a message from someone. Because when I started teaching online ministries during pandemic, I discussed this in the YouTube, I discussed this in, in a page sa Facebook, mga kapatid. And someone messaged me in the messenger, and ang sabi niya, naalala ko po kung paano na-share sa akin ang gospel. Twice po na pinasunod ako sa sinner's prayer or prayer of acceptance, magkaibang tao sa church. The same kung naging makatotohanan sa iyo, Ikaw ay ligtas na. I continue the church pero hindi ko talaga naunawaan ang gospel. Sumunod lang ako sa prayer. Years pass at nagda-doubt talaga ako sa salvation ko. Especially kapag nakakagawa ng kasalanan. Then kapag may invitation to be saved, preach sa pulpit, ako rin ay sumusunod muli sa prayer to make sure of my salvation. To make sure of my salvation. A pastor told me that every night he led his daughter in a repeat prayer in order for her to be sure. In order for him as a father to be sure that his daughter will be converted. You see? Pastor yun. Then, kagaya po na ito, kagaya po niya. Next. Then one day, May 9, 2014, my tito asked me to gather all my cousins in one room para ma-share daw ang gospel. Si tito ang nagbahagi sa kanila at ako ay nakikinig lang, praying na ma-save din sila. So akala niya, talagang save siya, right? When tito asked kung sino ang sure kung sakaling bawian ang buhay, Ay sa langit pupunta. I confidently raised my hand. Then, sinare niya ang gospel. I listened to the gospel. Then I understand. I am about to go to hell. Then, Christ gave his life. He died, was buried, and raised again. The third day to save a sinner like me. Na kung maniniwala ako dito, ako ay maliligtas. Kasi, once I believe that it is enough, God will receive me someday in heaven. Not because of my works, but because Christ is in me. Because ginawa na niya, o oh, ginawa niya na ang dapat na tayo ang mag-suffer. Hindi tayo ang makikita ng Diyos, kundi si Jesus Christ. That time, look at this, look at this. That time when they began to pray, I prayed then, nag-pray din ako sa sarili ko. Without repeating someone's prayer, that was the time I know I am saved. Because I understand the gospel. Nakita nyo? Save daw siya because I understand the gospel. Hindi niya sinaming because I prayed the sinner's prayer. Amen. So hindi, ko, hindi natin sinasabi na kapag nag-pray ka, hindi ka ligtas. Ang sinasabi natin, nag-pray ka at kasama sa iyong pinananaligan na save ka kasi pinagsama mo yung prayer at saka yung faith. Nung pinakita ko sa gospel tracks kanina, Amen. Ang kaligtasan po mga kapatid is pure grace. And whether you like it or not, prayer is a work. Colossians chapter 4 verse 12. Epaphras, 
was always laboring in prayer. Prayer is a work. Amen. Question ko na pong matagal na ang sinner's prayer. Pero practice ng church. Kaya practice ko din. Pero may doubt po ako noon. O doon. And every time nagsishare using that, pinapakinggan ko kung ano yung prayer. Kung may pattern ba. Then I have my friends and gusto ko kasing laging may verses when I'm sharing the gospel and yung sinner's prayer ay hindi ko maipakita kaya sometimes hinahadlangan ko yung sarili ko to share. Kasi hindi ko makita yun. I just plainly share to them. And sometimes, dahil practice na nga, ginagawa ko din iyon when sharing. And thank you, Pastor, kasi nasagot na yung matagal kong questions sa pamamagitan ng inyong pagtuturo. Glory to God. And then until now, may mga nagme-message pa sa akin kasi until now, nasa YouTube pa rin yun pong message na yun. Yung pong pagtuturo na yun. Amen. We are saved by grace. Amen. We are saved by grace, mga kabatid. The Bible says, For by grace are ye saved, through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Now, our salvation is a gift. Our salvation is a gift. It's not a reward. Amen. Kapag nagbigay ka ng gift, may trabaho doon o wala? Ikaw nga eh. Ikaw ang nagbigay. You're the one who gave the gift. Sinong nagtrabaho sa gift? The one who will give or the one who receive or the recipient of the gift? The giver or the, the one who will receive that gift? Of course, the giver. Amen. Now, sino ang nagtrabaho ng gift na yan para mapunta sa atin? For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So, ang kaligtasan po natin mga kapatid ay purong regalo. And the Bible says, even so then, at this present time also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. And the Bible says, and if by grace, then is it no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. Look at this. Sabi po rito, and if by grace, then it is no more of works. And then, at this present time, kailan po yan? Sa panahong ito ng biyaya. Sa panahong ito ng dispensation ng biyaya. Amen. Ito po yung, ito po yung this time, this present time. At sabi po ng Bible, ito po ay election of grace. Although yung pinag-uusapan dito ay mga hudyo, pero alam po natin mga kamatid, na yung mga hudyo na sumampalataya during the dispensation of the grace of God is parehas lang ang gospel. Amen? And ang sabi din ng Bible, in if by grace, then it is no more of works. When we say no more of works, once upon a time, it has works. You say no more of works. Before, my works. Yan ang sabi ng Bible. Oh, I have a kid, a store, maliit pa siya. Hingi-hingi siya sa nang tinapay, ng biscuits. Then I'll give. More? Okay. More? Okay. More? Okay. Wala na. Nawala. Ubus na eh. Sabi niya, more? Sabi ko, no more. Okay? Ibig sabihin mga kapatid, dati may works talaga. Pero itong tumating ang biyaya, Si Kristo na ang gumawa ng dapat gawin ng tao. And because of that, wala nang gawa in our part. We will just believe in our hearts. Amen. Okay? Mabibitin ako dito mga kapatid. I think, bukas ko na ito di-discuss yung iba. Bakit? This is how of the gospel. Amen. I, will, I will give it to you tomorrow. Okay, the how of the gospel. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, for I deliver unto you first of all that which I also received. How? 
kailangan-kailangan pag nag-share tayo ng gospel, ipaliwanag natin mabuti yung how. Amen. Hindi yung gusto mong maligtas. Opo. Pray this prayer after me. No. You explain how Christ, how Christ died for their sins according to the scripture. was buried and rose again. Amen. Thank you po sa inyong pakikinig. God bless you.